Hey guys, welcome back. Grumpa here. Last episode, we saw Maya in the basement. We got a clue, so we're gonna go call the police. Let us go there. Get that started. You happen to be brand new? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let's go. I'm still wearing these gloves, huh? I don't think I need to wear them anymore. Although they might be quite fashionable. Police number three one four five 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 one four two two. Uh, five 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 four two two. You better answer the phone this time. Not put me on hold forever. Saint Louis Police Department. Missing persons unit, please. Please hold missing persons. This is Ramsey. Sergeant Ramsey, it's Nancy Drew. Hi, Miss Drew. I found Maya. You found her? So the no. case is closed. I found her, and then she disappeared again. Good grief. This girl's a regular Houdini. All right. What have you got for me? I found a secret room under the stage. I saw Maya through a peephole, but by the time I got into the room, she was gone. The kidnapper must have moved her. A peephole, huh? Are you sure you saw her? Sir, there's evidence. Pizza boxes and one of Maya's shoes. I left everything where it was so you could see for yourself. So you think the kidnapper's been using this secret room as a base camp? Well, this is very interesting, Miss Drew. It sounds like you've been conducting quite a search. Now will you please send someone over to investigate? Yep. Just bear with me while I try to find an available car. Help is on the way, Miss Drew. Great. Bye. Okay. Anything else in here? No. Mm, he's not here. Should we see if the old guy's upstairs? Going back as WD forty, maybe. Hi, Nancy. What happened? I found Maya. You found her? Oh, that's great. Where is she now? By the time I got through that door, the room was empty. Are you sure you didn't just imagine you saw her? I think the kidnapper moved her, but they left some evidence behind. Evidence? That should interest the police. Have you called them? Yeah, they said they'll come check it out, but they may not be able to get here for a while. I'll wait up for the police. You get some rest, Nancy. You're going to need it for tomorrow. Make sure they check that magician's secret room. How's that book we read? There was a key here. Well, there isn't now. That's where we got that bulb from, huh? Don't touch that projector, dear. It's a temperamental old beast. Okay. Uh, 
What happened? Oh, day three. All right, all right, all right, man. Kidnapper demands 50k. Psh, he's the kidnapper. See the class to demand for the return of my anointed magic. Were any of those things in Simone's purse from Granite City? Please see me right away, J H. J J J J J J J J J. Who's J? Uh, Joseph. ransom demand coming out of thin air did they get any information on the call apparently the call came from north of here a town called granite city personally i think it's a hoax but now the police are convinced that Maya's not in this building but what about the evidence i found are you sure the pizza boxes were in that magician's room because the police couldn't find what anything. What do you mean they couldn't find anything? They searched the whole building. How could they miss two big pizza boxes with leftover pizza inside? What about Maya's shoe? No trace of that either. Even without the evidence, that corner of the room had obviously been lived in recently. Follow your gut, Nancy. If you think Maya's still here, you keep looking for her, you hear? I got another threat from the kidnapper. That creepy voice came on the PA and told me to stop searching for Maya. The projection room? But who? Someone must have ducked out of the press conference. I was so busy with crowd control, I didn't even notice. It's only a matter of hours until the demolition. How are you holding up, Joseph? Oh, fine. Everything's great. Fine. Fine. I was up till the wee hours polishing up the lobby. Heck, I, I'm even fixing to repair the old key maker so you can give it a whirl. Guess old habits die hard, eh? wonder if I can use that key in that book. Oh, we don't have it. I wonder if this is the key from the book. Gotta go now. Bye. Interesting. Um, like you guys have always told me to start navel gazing. Has that always been there? Let's see if Falcon's here. Is Ola. Catch you later. Fight the power. Um. Uh, Simone, go talk to her. Let's talk to all our peoples, all our suspects. And what you gotta say for yourself? How's progress? I know you sent the funeral wreath. Now where's Maya? I don't know what you're talking about, Sugar. Listen, the pressure must really be getting to you. I know a top-notch aromatherapist in town, okay? I'll give you her number. Come on, Simone. Ginger's 24-hour flower-rama? I believe you've been caught red-handed. You broke into my personal property? I could have you arrested for that. It's just business, Simone. You do what agents do, I do what detectives do. 
I'm sure you can appreciate that. All right. I sent the stupid wreath, but I'm no kidnapper. I needed something for the cameras, didn't I? And it was a very tasteful arrangement. Should have been for 300 bucks. Perhaps I went a little overboard. A little overboard? <laughs> You're dreaming if you think that's enough to get you off my suspect list. What? She doesn't want to talk anymore? How's progress? Have you heard about this ransom demand? 50 grand, what a joke. Isn't it just like a rank amateur to jump on the bandwagon? Anyone with a pinch of class would have demanded at least a million. All I right. think your phone's about to ring. Ciao. All right, let's go talk to the actor guy. See what he has to say. What are you doing hanging out with that Falcone jerk? I'm not hanging out with him, Brady. I'm conducting a search here, and I'll take any tip I can get. That guy's bad news, and he's certainly not going to help your credibility with the police. Don't worry. I don't trust him any more than I trust you, or anyone else around here for that matter. Just trying to help. Talk to you later, Brady. You betcha. Any news? Talk to you later, Brady. Cool beans. Fantastic. Stupendous. Uh, phone calls. We can go make phone calls. to him again I didn't try clicking all his stuff hola catch, catch you later. later fight the power I have to call Ned Like a large pizza with a works. Even anchovies, ma'am? I know you have issues with anchovies. Extra anchovies. Wow, Nancy. Things must be getting hairier if you're contemplating anchovies. What's up? That's not how police could receive a ransom call from Grand City. I can't understand how the police could have received a ransom call from Granite City. And why would the kidnapper suddenly demand cash without even mentioning the demolition? Your skepticism is probably right on, Nancy. You think? Sure. After all, Brady did spread those missing posters over half of Missouri. There are always a few jokers who try to jump on the bandwagon in situations like these. It just makes me sick to think that anyone would try to profit from such a terrible situation. It's a mixed up world, Nancy. I confronted Simone about the receipt for the funeral wreath, and she claimed she just needed something for a photo shoot. Would you buy that? That's a tough one, Nancy. In Simone's world, where everything is a photo shoot, her excuse sounds just twisted enough to be true. But on the other hand... You know me too well, Nancy Drew. On the other hand, Simone's mind is just too devious and much too selfish to be believed. Bye, Ned. Uh, call me soon. It's called Bess. One, five, two, three, five, 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 four, four, six, eight. Hello? Hello? I got it, George. Is it Nancy? I don't know yet. I'm busy talking to you. Will you hang up? It's Nancy, all right. I knew it. Hey, you two. I don't know, Bess. She sounds a little down in the dumps, doesn't she? She 
sure does. What's going on, Nancy? I just can't believe it. The evidence I found yesterday, the pizza boxes and Maya's shoe. When the police finally came to investigate, it was gone. What? You're kidding. And now the police really think I'm losing my marbles. Joseph, he's the only one who knew about your discovery, isn't he? Yeah, he said he'd show the police where to go. And wait a second. When I came up from the basement, I bumped into Brady wandering around backstage. Interesting. Yeah, he seemed surprised to see me. What did you tell him? I guess I did let on that I'd found some evidence. Gee, Nancy, if you wanted the whole world to know, why didn't you just broadcast it on national television? Please, George, I feel bad enough. Now it's the day of the demolition and I'm still clueless. That's not true, Nancy. You've made significant progress. Maybe you should focus on trying to stop the demolition. Aren't you expecting a package? Indeed I am. If Sherman Trout really is a man of his word, that is. She sounds better already, huh, George? She's lucky we don't charge her for these calls. The detective support hotline could get awfully expensive. I came across this old book that explains how to do a bunch of magic tricks. Cool! Like pulling a rabbit out of a hat? Like sawing my cousin Bess in half? Nothing quite that sensational, ladies. But I did learn how to use a pencil to reveal a secret message. Ooh, that could come in handy. How does it work? Well, if someone writes something, let's say it's a secret code on a piece of paper, and they press hard with a pen, it will make an impression on a blank piece of paper underneath. Yeah? Then the magician applies a pencil to the seemingly blank piece of paper. With careful shading, the pencil will reveal the shapes of the numbers or letters in the code. Presto! Do you see? That's pretty cool. I can only imagine what would happen if we applied the pencil to best. Just think of all the secret codes that would be revealed. Like Jacques, Rick, Brady... Oh, George, I'm not as impressionable as you think. I received another threat. This time, the kidnapper addressed me by name. Another phone call? What was the threat? This one came over the PA. Apparently, searching for Maya is a waste of time, and I should focus on stopping the demolition, or else. Well, Nancy, this kidnapper may have learned your name, but obviously, they haven't figured out the first thing about who they're dealing with. I just wish I could see the look on the kidnapper's face when you crack this case wide open. <sighs> Okay, you two. I'll talk to you soon. Good luck. Be careful. So my guess is I need to do something with that pencil impression thing. But give me a clue. Alright. They went into quite a bit of detail about that. But I don't have a pencil. Hi again. Hey Nancy, what's the latest? I'm trying to decide what to do next. Any thoughts? Maybe you should call the police and get the information straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Okay. Bye, Ned. Call me soon. Uh... St. Louis Police Department. Missing persons unit, please. Please hold. Missing persons, Ramsey here. Sergeant Ramsey, what's going on? I beg your pardon? I'm sorry, but I'm very upset. This is Nancy Drew. What do you mean there was no evidence? I don't know what to tell you, Miss Drew. You searched the magician's room under the stage? Did Joseph Hughes show you where it was? He showed us all right. We searched the whole theater, but our efforts were totally inconclusive. Wherever your friend is, she's not in the theater. She's in the theater. I know she is. The kidnapper wants the demolition stopped, so what better leverage than to hold her in the theater? Actually, you might be interested to know that we've had about a half a dozen calls here since last night. People are reporting seeing Maya north of here. And then this ransom call came this morning from Granite City. You'll be glad to know we're following up on all these leads. I don't believe it. Miss Drew, I empathize. As a police officer, I know how emotional attachment to a case can cloud your judgment. Take it from me. It's time for you to let this one go and leave the case to the professionals. You're just not thinking clearly. Sure, Sergeant Ramsey. Thanks for the advice. Goodbye, dear. All right. I 
did that, Ned. Hello? Hi again. Hey, Nancy. What's the latest? I'm trying to decide what to do next. Any thoughts? See what's going on with Brady. Bye, Ned. Bye, Nancy. All right, off to Brady. We talked to him now. He said, let's go talk to Brady. Let's go talk to Brady. Well, Mr. Actamon. Mr. Actamon isn't here. Ooh, wait, that's new. Hair growth treatment. Wait. Maya's notebook. What happens if we try to call her? Three one four. Five 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 four seven seven five. Okay. Eventually, let's be a decision with agents if you're making one decision. Initiate the RP. Wait till the end. Hit him with the evidence. What evidence? Hey, hold on. Oh, we got a pencil. Oh, we can do that smudge thing now. Sunny boy, sun free tam and. Hey, you. Don't hey you me, Brady, you rotten fraud. Huh? I'm afraid you've lost me. You've been lying to me, playing Mr. Helpful and Concerned all this time. I found her notebook in your bag. I haven't done anything wrong. I wonder if the police will agree with that. Okay, Nancy, here's the deal. My real name is Brady Thompson. Simone pushed for Armstrong more wholesomely smoldering, she said. Yeah, so? I'm Wave of the Future, Inc. The owner of this theater, great nephew of JJ himself. But you're an actor. Why in the world would you want to move go. as a theater? The place is shabby. It needs major repairs. It's a money pit and a has-been. Not the image I want to project. Is everything about image with you? Never underestimate the power of image, Nancy. You are what you project. And what is it that you wish to project? When people think of Brady Armstrong, they think sparkling white teeth and healthy glow. Success glows. It doesn't crumble and sag. The hero never rides a has-been horse. But what are you going to do with the site? When I saw these ritzy theme restaurants popping up all over the country, it hit me like pow. My first original idea. Brady Armstrong's Planet Tinseltown. Can't you see it on the marquee? Grand opening. Like Planet Hollywood. The lights will say it all. What does this have to do with Maya? I've sworn to be the captain of my own destiny. Maya was going to expose me muck up my name in this controversy. It would have been a dark cloud over the launch of Tinseltown. And for that, she deserves to be kidnapped? I didn't kidnap her. I found her notepad in the basement with the press pass. I just thought I'd hang on to it for a few days until the dust settles. 
Now's your chance to do the right thing by calling off the demolition. Sorry, Nancy. Look, you're not thinking clearly. It's obvious she's not in the building. We've searched everywhere. She has to be in the building. I know she's here. You're the only one who thinks she's here. There's no evidence. Joseph believes me. He's a confused old codger. Nicholas thinks she's in the building. He's an outlaw, and he's using you. There was evidence. I found a pizza box and one of her shoes. Evidence that no one was able to verify. Who's to say you didn't imagine that stuff? Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to rally a wrecking crew. You can't do this! Interesting. Alright. So we go see Miss Simone. can be repaired. She's gone again. Uh, let's go to the projection booth. here hmm you should have learned you've been how many of the tight your head she's whether and find whether was of Jake if he's when Jake died six months ago is that his brother How's he gonna go stay with his brother if his brother's dead? Interesting. All right, where's that pencil book? Is that over here? Was it on this table? I think it was yeah, right here. That doesn't match the key. No. Projector. He's not up here. Oops. Something's missing here. Oh. 
I should switch the power off. Where's that bulb? I don't change the bulb in this thing. Is this key going here? It's locked. Um. What about that key machine downstairs? The key making one. Did they get it fixed? Find a coin. Where do I find a coin at? You got a coin? Nancy, we could be golden. A package just came from that museum. We may have the goods to stop this demolition dead in its tracks. Check the ticket booth. All right. <sighs> need to find a coin. Where's the Witcher when you need him? Oh, so we got another slide. You happen to send me a quarter with it? Oops. Again. Hey Nancy, what's the latest? I was backstage earlier and I almost got hit by a falling stage light. Not again, Nancy. Yeah, who knew there were so many ways to get crushed in this life? I'm glad you're okay. Do you think it was an accident? I don't know. There was no one around the stage, so I guess we could chalk it up to the crumbling theater. But why did it suddenly fall when I was right there? There's a coin by it. I'm trying to decide what to do next. Any thoughts? The key maker is fixed, so you can make a new key for the projector. <clears throat> yeah, but I need a coin. I'm trying to decide what to do next. Any thoughts? If the key you made doesn't work, put it back in the machine and try again. Jesus. Where do I go? I gotta find a coin. Bye, Ned. Be careful. All right, let's go check that area for a coin before we call this episode. Um, it's the quickest way to get back there. That's why. I'm sure this can be repaired. You didn't drop a coin by chance, did you? Alright, no coin. Save the game up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.